tourism, culture, and sport. When it comes to the Pan Para Pan Am Games, your government has said the games are expected to attract more than 250,000 tourists. But in a recent report released by the Greater Toronto Hotel Association, it says that they only expect 10% of attendees will require hotel accommodation. Minister, can you explain the large discrepancy between your numbers and the industry's projections? I'd like to uh, thank the member for the question. Um, there's something incredible taking place in this province, and there's a spirit that there's a spirit that has taken taken this province. Uh, uh, there's there's a spirit that has uh, captured this province for the pan. Am the uh, member from Chatham Kent Essex will come to order. Please. In fact, yesterday, Mr. Speaker, I had the opportunity to visit the University of Toronto, and uh, they have a new stadium, the Gold Ring uh, Stadium, that'll host uh, that'll host basketball and volleyball uh, during the Pan Am Games. For for <laughs> it'll host uh, volleyball and <laughs> and basketball during the games as a test venue. And in fact, uh, two thirds of that money, Mr. Speaker, was raised by the local community and the Gold Ring family. Our government put in uh, one third of that money. And it's an incredible Answer. testament to what is happening in this province. We are going to have 250,000 people from across the Americas and across this country visit Ontario next Thank year. You. And in fact, Thank you. I appreciate that. It's supplementary. Well, Minister, I mean, really, put the pom-poms away. <laughs> it shows that a significant component of all attendees will be local or regional. This means that the people in Ontario will not only be stuck with the bill of the games themselves, but it will not be the international tourism draw you are selling it as it, it, it is. So, Minister, we are now less than a year away from the games. They are supposed to be a way to showcase Ontario to an international audience. The games will create only 0.7% impact for the hotel industry. How are we going to showcase Ontario when nobody wants to come? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, it's interesting. Um, on this side of the House and right across this province, people are standing behind the Pan Am Games and the Paris Pan Am Games. And it's that party opposite that constantly continues to put down our athletes. In fact, the critic on the opposite side said these were second tier games and that no one should be cheering for these games. We are going to cheer for our athletes, we're going to cheer for Ontario, we're going to cheer for Canadians, and we believe the 7,000 athletes that will be here, the 23,000 volunteers, the 15, uh, 15 new bills and, and 10 new facilities are a testament to the investment we've made on this side of the house and Ontario believes in what we're doing.